I'm very happy to introduce our exciting new season 2015 and 16 for the Semper Oper Ballet. As two premieres, one of which is a world premiere, seven repertoire productions, and several international tours. This is my 10th season as the artistic director of the Semper Oper Ballet, and with the extension of my contract until 2020, it allows me for the first time to make a longer artistic plan. We've spent the first chapter of our life here really working on the technical and artistic level of the company and building up our repertoire. And now the next chapter is international tours and presenting ourselves to the world. Concerning our premieres, I would like to incorporate one iconic work by one of the great choreographers of this century so that our audience can enjoy these timeless masterpieces. In addition to this, I would like to introduce one exclusive work for our company created on and for our dancers. This season, the first premiere in the fall will be Kenneth McMillan's Manon. Kenneth McMillan was very present in Germany between 1966 and 69 as the artistic director of the Deutsche Oper. But then upon returning to England, he's relatively unrepresented in Germany now. And I would like to introduce a dramatic full-length work for our company. And considering what Germany has already seen, I would like to have something unique for us. Our second premiere will be focusing on the young generation of choreographers and is Alexander Ekman's Full Evening 3 by Ekman. Alexander is one of the most creative, uh, unique choreographers in the new talent pool. We've worked with him once already with Cacti and this premiere is very open to become what it will become. We will open the season with a very dynamic mixed bill which is a mix of several ballets that we have already in our repertoire. Opening with Theme and Variation by George Balanchine, followed by William Forsyth's New Suite, and ending with Matt Sachs' She Was Black. We will bring back our iconic work from this season, which is William Forsyth's full-length masterpiece, Impressing the Czar. Four acts, which includes In the Middle Somewhat Elevated as the second act, We're very, very lucky to have the exclusive rights over the next five years to perform this production. In December, we'll bring back one of our audience's favorite productions, The Nutcracker. It's set around the famous Christmas markets here in Dresden. The production is done by myself and Jason Beachy, the rector of the Peruca School, and involves several students from the school. We will bring back our world premiere from this season, Tristan and Isolde, British choreographer David Dawson's second narrative for our company. Tristan and Isolde is one of the greatest love stories whose origins lie far back in the midst of Celtic literature. We will bring back La Bayadere. This exotic tale set in India includes one of the most famous scenes in classical ballet, The Kingdom of the Shades. The next classic of the season will be my production of Sleeping Beauty. I am very happy to have this fairy tale returning to us after two seasons. Another famous fairy tale that we will bring back is Cinderella. This production was done by Stain Solis as a full evening work and recreated for a smaller space of our Semper II theatre. It is a family production, something that both children and adults can enjoy. The most important element for me right now is getting ourselves out and presenting ourselves to the world through international tours. On these tours, we will have the opportunity to present a mixed repertoire, the first of which in Paris, Théâtre Champs-Élysées, we will be part of a retrospective of Matt Sack's work, performing his She Was Black. In both St. Petersburg and Belgrade, we will dance a mixed program made up of choreographies from Alexei Rutmansky, David Dawson and Jacopo Gaudani. And lastly, in Gothenburg, we will present Stain Solis's full-length Romeo and Juliet. 